Before we discuss specific protocols, I want to remind you about off-label uses. Regarding off-label uses under the user license agreement, by using this manual, you're accepting this agreement. Unless otherwise stated, the treatment protocols in this section of the protocol manual have no regulatory approval in any country and Aspen has not tested them in controlled clinical trials for safety or efficacy. However, these or similar protocols have been used in multiple clinical practices with multiple types of practitioners with great success. These protocols are considered off-use in that they do not fall under FDA 510K clearances of the Aspen laser system. You must apply your own professional clinical judgment as to whether high-intensity laser therapy is an appropriate treatment for your patient, taking into account the safety and contraindications guidelines and the medical or other training you've had. Only treating conditions you are trained to treat and insured to treat. Read the safety section to review precautions and contraindications. These treatment protocols are not presented as a replacement for drugs, surgery, or other therapy. Let's talk a little bit about conversion. For conversion, we must ensure that the patient has bought in and will show up for all their scheduled treatments. We exit interview every patient after every visit asking the following questions. Number one, what did you think of your experience? Number two, is there anything you did not like? Number three, do you have any questions or concerns? Number four, was your overall experience today average or exceptional? Number five, what made it average and how can we make it exceptional? Then we follow up with, great, your next appointment is a time and date. Does that still work for you? Once they affirm, we say, great, we'll see you then, or, okay, let's find a time that works better for you. We'll send a follow-up email or text reminder the day of the appointment for their RSVP or a reschedule option. Let's talk a little bit about tracking. Patient notes are critical for not only tracking their progress, but becoming their most trusted advisor. As we listen to them during each visit, we should be able to add more information to their patient notes sections. This will help us build a psychographic profile and over time, it will reveal to us exactly who they are, what they want, and how to deliver to them the things that they need in a customized way. If after each visit, we don't have something new and unique to add to their patient notes, then we probably haven't had a meaningful interaction with them. Let's talk about referrals. We know the fastest way to grow any business or organization is word of mouth, also known as referrals. Not only is this the fastest way, it's the least expensive. It provides the highest number of new patients who convert, and it provides a higher number of patients who comply with and finish treatment. People trust a person before they trust a product or advertisement. Most people will act on a single recommendation from a friend they trust, as opposed to repeated bombardment of factual information via advertising or marketing. After each two-week evaluation, we make sure to ask, do you know of anyone who would like to get the results you've gotten from this type of therapy? And then, can you connect us with them so that we can help them like we've helped you? That's how you get recommendations and referrals. There are certain lifestyles that definitely complement light therapy. While no single treatment or therapy should be considered a standalone option, there are some lifestyles that contribute. On average, a light therapy patient spends one hour per day, three days per week, engaged in light therapy. What they do in the other 23 to 24 hours of every day can either greatly enhance and work with PBMT or can work against it. So here's some lifestyles that greatly enhance light therapy. Number one, healthy nutrition. Two, daily exercise. Three, low BMI and or body fat percentage. Four, mobility and stretching. Five, proper sleep, both in quality and quantity, rest and recovery. There's some lifestyles that can work against light therapy. Number one, poor nutrition. Number two, a sedentary lifestyle. Number three, a high BMI or high body fat percentage. Number four, a lack of movement or mobility. And number five, a lack of proper sleep, rest, or recovery. Practicing healthy lifestyles and avoiding unhealthy ones will be critical to patient success. Patient experience is critical to their success and recovery. If they aren't comfortable, if they don't trust us, if they don't feel like we know their story and have a tailor-made solution for them, if our facility isn't relaxing, clean, and comfortable, then they won't buy in and they won't show up. That ultimately means they won't get better. This is why our greeting is so specific, why we go through the intake form with them instead of letting them fill it out themselves, why we give them a proper tour, 
while we tell them how each device will address their specific issue instead of a general informational tour, and why we tell them everything they will experience. This also means letting them know that their condition may get worse before it gets better, and reassuring them that sometimes this is the path to recovery. Ultimately, the client experience has to be one where they are served at the utmost level of care from the moment they walk in to the moment they walk out and beyond. Their needs are always put before your own. Never let them do something that you can do for them.